Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. Let's jump right into what I sold. This is some Amazon orders here. The first item is uh, an Atari 2600 Haunted House video game. The label's got some definite wear on it. It's missing the side label there as well. Uh, this ended up selling for $5.58. The next item is uh, came out of that DVD lot. It's Chasing Amy DVD. And um, this one sold for $5.14. Here we have a Game Boy Advance, uh, Disney's American Dragon, Jake Long, Rise of the Hunty Scani Scani Scani. I don't know what it is. It's brand new in the box, and uh, picked this up at a thrift store for a dollar. Thought I'd go for more. I mean, you know, sealed and everything, Game Boy Advance, but only got uh, $7.97 for that. Still made some money. Just expected more out of that, but what are you going to do? And uh, here we got a book by Webb Griffin. This is uh, The Saboteurs. Just a paperback book, nothing special to it. It's sold for $5. A lot of smalls here today. And, and the last one for Amazon is the best of Eddie Arnold, vinyl LP record. And uh, this one sold for $7.79. So we'll package this up, up, guys. We'll move on to some Etsy and see what else we've got going on. All I know is I got a list. That's what I got to do there. I got a list, 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 list. We are back with some Etsy here. Let me show you guys what's sold on Etsy. This is a Shannon Irish Cheese Mesh Trucker Snapback hat. Uh, looks like it'd be 80s. Nothing crazy, just another one of those company type hats, like those promo hats. This sold for $12 shipped. Uh, next item we have, let's see here. This is a. Uh, there we go. 1993 Depeche Mode Vintage Concert Tour t shirt. From, yeah, 1993 t-shirt, uh, size medium-large. This sold for $60 shipped. Here we got this H-Bar C. I like picking up this brand. Um, obviously, the, the unique ones, the colorful ones, the well-designed ones bring the really good money. But this is just a plain old one here, pearl snap, short sleeve shirt, made in the USA, uh, size extra-large. This sold for $13 shipped. And finally, this last one here, this came out of a storage unit. And um, I, I tell you what, when you, when you buy storage units or whatever you're buying, you know, you start to look at the stuff like a CSI agent, right? Where you're trying to say, okay, will this sell for money online or is this garbage, right? You got to decipher what, you know, uh, you think you could sell, what you, what you think is garbage. And I remember looking at this, right? And I was, I mean, right off the bat, I'm like, this is very interesting. You know, it's a Colorado Rockies, um, Mountain News like batting helmet, right? And um, it was just unique looking. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to sell this thing. I mean, typically I think people might just throw this out or go, oh, I don't want to ship this. It's kind of big and bulky. So anyway, the lady who purchased this bought it. She's like, oh my God, I've been looking for this for years. I had this when I was a kid. And this is what gives me that enjoyment when listing these items and selling them to people, that it's all about a memory sometimes, you know, especially with the vintage stuff. So uh, she's stoked to, to really... Uh, Get this helmet here and um, sold for 40 bucks, guys. Pretty crazy, huh? 40 bucks for a crazy looking helmet like this. But yeah, so I'm gonna pack this stuff up, guys, and I gotta keep listing. All right, so uh, honestly, <laughs> I am so tired of looking at my garage. Um, I know I talked to you guys earlier about how I was moving some stuff from my garage, the bigger two, so I can get to the bigger stuff list on eBay. I was gonna put some of the stuff in my shed. That's what I'm going to do right now, try to bang out as much as I can. But before I do that, let me show you what I'm dealing with. All right, I know it's kind of hard to see here, guys, but this is just the pile, right? It goes all the way to the front of my garage. This is all just random stuff, kind of big, bulky. i got to try to move this out of here. Uh, over here, that's, that's all my inventory. It goes all the way across the wall there on the shelving units and everything like that. And um, got more of it all here. I've got inventory kind of all the place, so what I really want to do is I'm just feeling really claustrophobic, and uh, I wanted to share this with you guys because this is what will happen, you know, when you're you're out and about, man, and you're just accumulating things. I mean, am I a hoarder? I, I don't know. I may be an e-hoarder, like Scott Hightower says, but at the end of the day, I've got to get this stuff here because look at this path. This is a little path I have from here to there, <laughs> and um, it's driving me mad. It's driving me insane, and I know this is a project that will not happen overnight, so... Uh, I'm happy to say I did clear this area out here, <laughs> and this is where uh, this is where my photo booth is right here, as you can see. Got a Sega Master System here. I think I've got the right AV cord. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna freaking bang this stuff out, guys, and uh, just feel a little bit better about what's going on here with my reselling life. 
So I've been thinking lately about just what am I doing with my reselling business, and um, I really have got some ideas for the future of what I want to be doing. My number one thing right now was just getting rid of this junk out of my house and getting it either sold or donated. And I don't care if it's, it's, if it's 40, 50 bucks, because if it's big, it's bulky, and it's been sitting for a while, it's just taking up space and it's driving me nuts, right? Um, you know, we, we, we come across so many cool things, but it's, it's one of those things when you start building an e-commerce business, you start getting all these listings out there. At least this is how I've always run my business. It's just on, it's, a, it's like a volume approach, right? And, um, but it's at a point right now, I'm 40 years old, and it's kind of driving me up the wall. So I'm going to try to just accomplish this in baby steps. And um, the weather's nice out here. It's like 75 right now. It's getting a little bit to be uh, a little dark. So I don't know how much I can continue on with uh, moving it into my shed space. But I just got to get this done, guys. I got to get done. I got to feel I, This is going to make me feel better, right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to motivate me to, to get stuff listed. All right, in my storage shed here, we're making a little bit of progress, getting some crates, some boxes out of the garage. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a task. All right, got a little space cleared out here. Uh, let me show you what I'm kind of dealing with here, and there's some specifics here. This is all like junk silver. None of it's real silver. Just a bunch of leftover stuff from uh, storage units. And um, so I got that. A bunch of like Atari old joysticks, cables, cords. Uh, I got a Texas Instrument uh, TI... What is it? Uh, I forgot what it is. I'll, I'll let you guys know in a second. But it's, it's an older vi video game system, computer system. I've got all the software here. Then I got all these manual stuff like that all these games so i gotta figure out how to work this thing because um i can't get it to work i got all the cords just there's no video signal so i might just light everything up throw it in there with the unit just say as is um not sure about with this to do with this maybe i'll lot it up uh i've tried taking it to pawn shops they don't want it um i already sold the silver and the gold out of all that stuff so it's all leftover junkage might be good for some lots but that I might just throw it all out. I don't know, you know. It's part of the problem here, you know, just looking at all this stuff. So it looks a little better. There's still a bunch of mumbo jumbo there, but um, that's what I'm working on right now. I've got some stuff in that box I'm going to list, some of the records I'm going to list. But uh, we'll wait until tomorrow to see about clearing the rest of this out. Um, like I said, it goes back pretty, pretty good, guys. But I'm going to get it done. I'm going to make it happen. So when I lived in Illinois, the transition from my house to my warehouse was because of all the stuff honestly there was i had so much stuff in my garage and in my house alone i had a basement it was just filled with stuff and um so i decided you know let's have it let's get a warehouse so i can organize the stuff get some employees to help me with the stuff and and get the stuff sold right or donated and that's where, I, where i'm kind of feeling right now where you know uh i just i come across so many deals you know, whether it's at storage auctions, whether it's at garage sales, and it's not a really a shortage of me buying. I don't have a problem buying things, guys. I mean, <laughs> I've never had that problem. I'm just at a point in my life where I really want to be minimalistic. You know, I want to be able to sell things that aren't big, they're not bulky, I can store them, I know where they're at, and, um, and just start doing other different things, you know. Um, just getting into different niches and getting into different things, but not, you know living a life where like like right now i feel like it's just overwhelming honestly you know and i think to the naked eye like honestly i open my garage and people drive by and pe I, I watch people stare like oh my god this guy's got so much stuff um they don't know what i'm doing though 
I got to weigh the options in terms of peace of mind versus, you know, uh, profitability, okay? So, for example, right, um, I've been doing very, very well on Amazon. I've, I've been making money with merchandising toys. I've, I've had a really good, solid December right now where I'm really looking at the stuff saying, you know what? If I can't sell it within 30 days or it's worth less than $15 shipped, I'm just getting rid of it, you know? And um, I don't know. This is my approach. It's my feeling because... I'm, I'm trying to put myself in a spot in 2017 where I'm going to do something pretty cool. I try to be who I really am. I don't try to come out and be fake or lie to you or tell you this and really it's the wrong way to do it. You know, and I think by, by me showing you this video, you, you, there might be people out there that are running the same, same scenario, same situation where they've got all this stuff. And sometimes maybe the stuff is the problem where just get rid of it and you'll feel so much better about yourself, right? So... Hopefully this video makes some sense here. I, I really wanted to do it just to document my journey. You know, uh, I'm really looking forward to clearing the space out and I can show you guys a clean path. I could probably put a car in here, right? Um, but mostly I'm doing it for myself and, and also to, to document to show to you guys that, you know, it can be done. You know, it's going to take a little hard work to move through, through some of the stuff. It's going to be, you know, kind of an attachment and getting rid of some of the stuff because I, I bought it, you know? I mean, I paid some money. There's There's... Thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff sitting here. It's just, do I want to go through the time to to list it, let it sit for a year, and it's something that, that fits in a, a medium home size, home medium Home Depot box, you know? I've got limited space here, you know, between my garage, my shed, which I'll be, my shed will probably be filled up with most of the stuff, my, my trailer. So it'll be fun, guys. If Again, if you're going through this situation, maybe go with it. Watch me go through this, and, and, and maybe that motivates you to, to get through that junk pile or that death pile, whatever people want to call it, right? So I uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. If you do like this type of video, hit the thumbs up. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace. Vlog over.